Here lies the remnants of a pretty awesome turkey burger dinner. Goes along with those string beans. Or do you call them green beans? This is a major argument in this house. We've always called them string beans growing up in New York. String beans. But Mary has been ridiculed not once, but twice while twice. going to eat. Yeah. What do they say that they're called? Green beans. This is a big Florida conspiracy. We'll go to the judge. <laughs> and we've got a decorations down development here. The Cheap Seats household, even Mary and Joseph. The weather here has knocked them clear off of their feet. And this super annoying mess is left over from a couple days after Christmas when the city said they would be taking extra trash. I know you guys have heard me complain about the garbage before and it was tied to the hurricanes. The pickup is hilariously bad. Uh, for being a state that the temperature is generally averaging over 80 degrees. We have one pickup a week and if you do not use the can that they give you you're kind of SOL where your stuff will just sit up there for days until the next pickup. By the way that's the temperature and I know on social media everyone's out there with their contests right now of just how cold it is. It's minus 10 here, it's minus 20 there, it's minus a thousand over in my area but it's 40 degrees here. It's going down to about 20 something tonight. It is genuinely kind of cold. When you are used to temperatures that are in the 80s all the time, um, even just a couple weeks ago during Christmas, 40 is maybe not the worst right now, but it is eight degrees above freezing. So it's kind of cold. Props to that guy for having his brights on. And we are arriving at the promised land. I think the, the majority of like the theme park blogosphere is over at the Edison tonight, um, eating food and trying things out and things like that. Um, I didn't make the trip over there. Tonight was the first night that they did soft opens. If I'm having a hard time justifying that um, grilled cheese and soup is 20 bucks, fries are, are $10, and milkshakes with a shot of alcohol I think is $23. Um, so it may be a little bit of time before we get over to um, the Edison. but. I'd like to at least check it out to see the ambiance of the place. It looks cool. Um, I don't know how well it's going to do. But for now, um, instead of going to the Edison, we're going to this place. It's an exciting night at Walmart. Wow. Idea. Actual 45s. Dear Kylo, you're the coolest. Love, Ray. So this is like 70 bucks worth of groceries. And vitamins, I don't want to forget vitamins. I did pick this up too, this uh, PB2. I've never had this before. Powdered peanut butter. Um, my buddy Sean from Cool Duder uh, YouTube channel. You guys should check him out. We did a little intro to uh, his video, or a little skit in his video around uh, Happy Death Day not that long ago. But anyway, he's had a remarkable uh, transformation weight loss wise over the years and he swears by this so I'm gonna try it and see how it tastes. I did get the regular and the chocolate flavored and I mean, you know these are like 50 calories or 45 for this as compared to like um, 200 or 250 uh, regular peanut butter so I um, figured it's worthwhile to check it out. And likewise you guys should check out his channel especially if you like movies. He does movie reviews constantly and DVD um, bin hunting and movie reviews and all kinds of cool stuff. But you can probably hear the uh, temperatures trying to get regulated in the car, so we're gonna head back home. I have come home to see that Mary is watching the X-Files, which is back tonight. Just for you, so go away. Oh. I'm never gonna get caught up on Stranger Things. You have many different I electronic things. And now they're watching us for you. This is why I don't watch TV. No, that's not it. That's completely a lie. It's not a lie. That is a lie. Are you not hearing mom? Tonight at three o'clock in the morning um, Eastern time is Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega, Wrestle Kingdom uh, 12 in New Japan wrestling. Um, you can watch it or we could watch it if I was to get up at three o'clock in the morning. Um, on their app with a subscription, but quite honestly, um, at least I looked on the app and the, the way to subscribe and everything is pretty much in Japanese. Um, I think it's like 
You would never think that if it's from Japan. Yeah, 999 yen, which apparently is just shy of 10 bucks a month. Um, similar to WWE, but I've heard the stream is not as good. Um, it is showing again on Access TV, AXS cable channel. It's on uh, DirecTV, Dish, and so forth. Um, on Saturday, I believe, either Saturday or Sunday, I think, they're showing the three main event matches. But Jericho versus Omega promises to be better than uh, the main event at WrestleMania for the WWE this year. So I am very much interested in seeing that match. Maybe not live um, because of circumstances. Um, but very, very cool that um, other promotions, again, and I've, I've talked about this for those that like wrestling and you like hearing this, it's great. If you don't, then you can skip along. But uh, very, very cool that... Um, there's alternatives to WWE, when, especially when the WWE programming is not all that fantastic lately. So, while I was at Walmart, I picked up um, this Monster Hydro. I had never seen it before. It looks kind of like Gatorade. It's weird because the container, this is kind of um, plastic, um, and you can see the liquid in it. Um, it looks like Gatorade, but the writing on the bottle kind of indicates that it's water, and it just says, Water World, 70% of Earth is covered with water. You got bottled water from the mountains, glaciers, virgin springs, tropical islands in the Arctic. There's mineralized, fortified, ionized, electrified, pH balanced, triple filtered, and straight out of the city tap. What's the point? You gotta hydrate every day, so you might as well do get a boost while you're at it. Monster Hydro, non-carbonated, lightly sweetened with natural flavors to make it thirst quenching and easy drinking. We've added just enough of that monster magic to get you fired up. The container is cool too, just don't call it water. Hydrate the beast, monsterenergy.com. I am not sponsored by Monster. I would love to be sponsored by Monster, but I am not. We're going to taste this thing. It does taste like Gatorade. It actually tastes like Gatorade gum. If you guys have had that before, when you chew it, it's kind of tastes overly artificially sweetened or something. Like it's not sugar. But there is 23 grams of sugar in here. Um, 100 calories per container. 105 milligrams of sodium. Um, hmm. It's pretty good. I would drink it. I'm wondering if they'll have this. Um, you know, we always hit this time of year. It's not this time of year yet, but when we get towards April, when it's kind of like monster season in Orlando, you see everything is sponsored by monster concerts. Um, wrestling events, etc. Especially Welcome to Rockville will has the monster tent um, where we'll be able to have free monster throughout the event. Um, I'm not an advocate for kids to be drinking monster, um, but I will have one from time to time when I'm feeling a little sluggish. Um, but uh, this, pretty good. What can I tell you last but not least before just dragging us on forever? Um, we finally did that spoiler video that everyone was asking for for The Last Jedi. The comments have been um, pretty moderate to degree and then some outrageous ones out there and you know personal attacks again which kind of um is what it is um as i'm sitting here now it's like a thousand views and you know it's a very specialized video so i don't expect a lot of views from from things that we put up sometimes especially because it's 37 minutes long it's a long time to expect anyone to sit in front of a video um and it's got 111 likes 10 dislikes um and i, and I fear like a lot of times people don't like the the video because they disagree with um the the content or they don't like the star wars movie itself so instead they'll dislike the video or they dislike the the fact that the video is objective etc so in any event if you guys haven't checked that out feel free to check it out i don't know how much more star wars content we'll get until solo starts getting promoted which is like another four and a half months away and we've been working on a project that eventually will come out maybe sometime next week or so um, that's a little bit more tedious um, in editing and so forth so we've kind of been going back and forth with that and that's one of the reasons why I stayed home instead of going out tonight but in any event I'm gonna wrap this up keep it short and sweet if I haven't said this before and I haven't said it in a while and you're new to the channel thank you so much for spending time watching these videos and watching our content um, I have consistently said this over the years that we've been putting out content. I'm not the youngest person. I'm not the most attractive person. Um, there's certainly tons and tons of options out there on YouTube for you guys to check out and you're spending time with me and that is really, really appreciated um, from the bottom of my heart as well as Mary and Jess. And I just want to say again, thank you for being there and thank you for supporting us. 
So on that note, we are going to wrap this up somewhat quick. Thank you very much for coming along with us tonight to Walmart. How interesting. And listening to us bemoan the 40 degree freezing temperatures of Central Florida. So thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.